Hey folks, Nass here. Uh, another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our challenge season. Uh, we've got quite a bit of clay here that we've been collecting and I just finished threshing a bunch of straw. So we actually have a bunch of, where are they at? Wheat grain that we can sell. So we've got 867 wheat grain. Uh, so this is our first real wheat crop that was uh, harvested uh, since we actually started this. Uh, so that is a good thing because we are going to need that straw pretty soon to start making some daub. And while I was threshing, I unlocked the daub as well. Let's go to the technology. Go here. Not there. Nope, I thought I unlocked it. I am almost there, actually. We're only about 45 points away. Okay, so. <laughs> but I went through and threshed a lot, all that uh, straw and everything. Of course, the farmers uh, still have to finish prepping the um, crops here. Now, for whatever reason, they did not finished planting all of this and I'm not exactly sure why like they completed this row here but never even started this row so I'm not exactly sure what happened there uh, let me see what I've got as far as so there's field worker field worker everybody's set for field working I got four of them out there so I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be done um, at all actually but anyway uh in this episode what i want to do is i actually want to head over here to jezrika and see what this quest is now we went to hornica in the last episode uh they wanted that recurve bow which we may end up getting enough uh coin out of this wheat to where we might be able to buy the recurve bow and go back and do that quest but i just don't know that because I think the recurve bow, you, you can buy it for like 700 coin. And 700 coin for 15 reputation, I'm just not sure that that's worth it. But uh, let's start heading over to Jezrika and see what that quest is over there. And I'll see you folks when we get there. Alrighty, folks, we are coming into Jezrika. The quest is right over here. So let's do a quick F5. Oop. Quick save. And let's see what this quest entails. Uh, I think it's this guy right here. Can I help you with something? Young man, we need your help. Last night was a terrible storm that destroyed our house. Could you please help us gather resources and rebuild it? I will pay you with a great reward. Alrighty, let's see uh, what they need. House rebuilding. All right, let's go into the quests, and he needs 21 log and 25 daub. Well, poo. We still don't have daub available to us. And that bites. Okay, so. We are going to obviously reload because we there's no way we can complete that quest. Uh, we're still 45 points away from even getting Dub uh, technology. So unfortunately, we are not going to be able to do that quest right now. Uh, but once we have Dub available to us, uh, then we can actually start building up our resources for that. That way we can have it on hand the next time we do get this quest, then we can actually complete it. Alrighty folks, we have reset and we have picked up where we left off just before we went in and tried to do that quest. Now, since we're here, there's two vendors here and I've got the uh, wheat grain. Come here. Oops. Missed you. Come here. Stop moving. There we go. Show me your wares. Uh, okay, so see, they've got the seasonal stuff uh, available to them here. So the apple, the cherry, the pear, the plum. Um, I'm fine on food. Matter of fact, I got a whole thing of pottage and everything back at uh, the settlement. So anyway, we got uh, cabbage seeds, some carrot seeds we can sell. We can sell that fur, and we've got all this wheat grain. So let's start getting rid of this stuff. 
and see what we end up with. Uh, I want to keep the feathers. And how much wheat grain is she going to take? She's going to take almost half the wheat grain. So that's good. We're already up to 4,000 uh, coin. That is absolutely good. And let's see, where is the other vendor at? Down this way. Here, vendor, 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 vendor. Come here, buddy. Come here. Bite him here. Nope, I don't need the torch. Don't really want to burn him before I sell him stuff. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Scroll, scroll, scroll. And here. Let's see how much he is going to take. He's only going to take... Oh, he does, he's only got 985 coin. All right. Well, we're going to relieve him of that and sell him this at least 246 of our wheat grain. So we've still got 221 wheat grain left. Uh, I've currently got... Uh, I think I kept 20 wheat grain because the uh, NPCs don't actually use the wheat grain that's in... Let me rephrase that. They don't actually use up the wheat grain. I mean, if, as long as you have it, they'll plant it. As long as you've told them to plant whatever item that it, whatever grain it is that you have, uh, but they don't consume it for whatever reason. Now I'm sure that'll end up changing in the game at some point, but for now it's not that way. So uh, that put us up at 53.93. Now the Hornica quest was the recurve bow. And I believe Lesnica, it's um, Gisela or Gisela is her name. She's a hunter out there. She's, as far as I know, she's the only woman in the entire map that actually wears pants. <laughs> so uh, we may just head out there and go ahead and spend that 700 coin and buy that recurve bow and then head back over to Hornica so we can at least complete that quest and at least get some reputation because we we got two quests right now that we can't really complete um, and I want to at least complete something so I'm going to spend the 700 coin to go ahead and complete that and I let me head back to uh, Lesnica here, right? Lesnica? Yes. Let's head to Lesnica and see Gazella about buying a recurve bow. I will see you folks in just a moment. Oh, we pissed somebody off here. Oh, we got to eat something. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> I thought I was skirting those guys enough to where they wouldn't see me. But I was wrong. Is there a second one? Because I thought I heard another one howling somewhere. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some more plantains in us here. Well, that kind of scared the poo out of me a little bit. Thank goodness we have those plantains. We probably need to pick some more up. Actually, I think I've got about 500 still. Because I haven't used up everything I've had on me. Alright, I don't see the other one, but maybe it was just, I don't know, maybe it was the game just doing this sound of this wolf over and over again. Alrighty, let's skin this guy and see if we can finish getting over to Lesnica without too much more trouble. I typically like to stay down here close to the little water edge. That way I'm kind of out of the range of those guys so I can quickly get around the map since I'm having to to go everywhere on foot. I see something running up there. Uh, but I did see um, the other day that they are looking at doing introducing horses into the game, which um, would be really awesome, but I don't know how they're introducing that yet. I don't know if the horses are going to be, if there's going to be like a horse vendor. Like you have some different animal vendors and stuff in the game. Currently, you know, for pigs and chicken and uh, sheep and so on and so forth. So I don't know if there's going to be a particular vendor. I don't know if there's going to be a quest line. Uh, I believe there was a um, skill or something somewhere. Myers Transmule. It seemed like there was a. It seemed like there was a skill that allowed you 
to ride a horse, but they may have removed it. Knight Rider. Unlocks the ability to ride horses. Well, that's good to know. And that's under farming, which we're currently trying to work on. We have that available to us. Now, see, it says mechanics not available yet. So, if that's what it takes and we can get that next farming skill, now, granted, we got a long ways to go still. We're barely at 98 and we got to get to 500 before we even get the next point. But that would be nice if we get that next point and that is available to us, then we can at least click that and be able to ride a horse in the game. And that would help us with our travels. Alrighty, let's see. There's a vendor over here. Let's see about selling our the rest of our grain. Oh, and there she is right there. See, she wears pants. See there? Everybody, all the other ladies in town wear a dress. So she's clearly the hunter. And she doesn't like going with the trends. So anyway, let's speak to um, Gazella here. And let's go ahead and sell off the rest of our stuff here. Sell that fur from that wolf. Let's sell this grain. She's going to buy it all. Alrighty, so that got us up to 62.83. So that's really nice. I think we went from 1800 up to the, what we are now. Now, she sells the recurve bow. Oh, it's at 665. I'm not sure what brings that down. I think... Let me back out of here for just a second. Uh, for... I think... Diplomacy... The higher your skill in diplomacy, I think lowers... Oh, we got frequent buyer. That's what it is. That's what's lowering those prices. 5% lower buy prices. Well, that's awesome. Okay. That makes this uh, this 700 coin that I was going to spend feel a little bit easier. But I want to get at least some reputation. I don't, I don't want to leave two quests undone. Alrighty, so let's buy one of these recurve bows. We're only going to buy one. And we can head back over to Hornica which is clear across the map. <laughs> and, and then at least we can get one of these quests done. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get Jezreka done before the season change. You can see we're already over the halfway mark. Uh, I think we've got two and a half days left of the season. So let me head over to Hornica and I will see you folks in just a moment. Alrighty, folks, we are about halfway over to uh, Hornica here. You can see we're just above our base here. And there's Jezrika and there's Hornica. And there we are right there. This is just, uh, for this particular kind of a game, this is just a majestic view. I mean, we can see way off in the distance, which I'm pretty sure that those ridge of mountains way over there are actually off the map. I think this ridge, the lower ridge, is about as far as we can go because you can just barely see the waterway down there uh, on the way to Jezrika, which I believe was right over in here. And then of course if we turn around, there's our settlement just straight ahead, just over that ridge line there. You can see my actual house there, and then the neighboring house. That's about all we can see right now. Uh, the tavern. Yeah, there's the tavern just coming into view. And then we're headed off over that direction to head towards Hornica. Alrighty, folks, we are coming into Hornica finally. That is one heck of a long run. <clears throat> so anyway, let us find our little quest giver. Where is she at? Is her right here? No, that is not her. In the tavern, it looks like. Oh, that's right. It was the tavern lady, Helga. Hi, Helga. Can I help you with something? Lost my bow. Maybe something stole it. Not sure. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm in need of a new one. Could you please craft one for me? Well, I'll bring you one because uh, I can't craft one. So now we have that, so let's go in. Here's your new bow. Thank you so much. Uh, you must be really good at crafting. I think it's supposed to be really good. A little typo there. 
Alrighty, there we go. We got 15 more uh, Dynasty Reputation at the cost of 665 coin. I hope you were worth it, honey. Uh, so now we've got 400 and, excuse me, 4,770 of 5,000. So we've got just over 200, looks like 230 more Reputation points to gather. Unfortunately, we can't do any more quests uh, because we don't have Dob available to us for the other one. Uh, so the technology on Dob is going to be under farming. We're at 455.8 points and we have to reach 500. Uh, so we're, what's that, 45... So 44.2 points basically is what we need to reach the goose house and to be able to produce Dob. So I think we are going to call this an episode. We actually accomplished something. I thought, felt that was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to head back to the settlement and see about getting that farming reputation up uh, and see what I can do to, to help move that along. That way we can get to the daub because we are definitely going to need that before winter. Otherwise, we're going to eat up a lot of uh, firewood. But anyway, if you folks have been enjoying this episode, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Both of those items help the channel tremendously, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this series so far. I'd love to hear and know what you think. Otherwise, we will see you folks in the next one. You take care. And happy hunting.